Hello comrades, this is General Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. As you can see from the bits on the side, this is not the proper N64 cartridge, but rather or the 20th anniversary version, but I'm going to be quiet for a moment while this little opening movie plays. So, yeah. That first file was just created so I can get used to the controls. So, yes, let's delete the file. And, as you can see, I have no practice file and no backup file. I have done a 100% run of this game before, so it's certainly not a blind run, but at the same time, it's been so long since I've played this game. It is, to an extent, a blind run. We'll call it a one-eyed run. And yes, I know how to use Kirby's copy ability. Okay, now that cut seems to have the way as well. Uh, where to start? So basically this Let's Play is going to be split up into two parts. The first part is basically going to be the one-eyed run in which I just... do whatever. Oh, and those stars will eventually add up to an extra life, if memory serves. Again, it's been a while. So inhale enemies. Some enemies have special powers. Like that guy. I forget the name. However, this Kirby game is distinct from the others, in that there are only a set number of basic powers, and in order to... <sighs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Apparently, I did not bother to learn the controls for throwing a power horizontally. Okay, that one also throws it vertically. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Um. should have learned the controls a bit better. Um, is there no way to toss it horizontally? How embarrassing. Um, Why didn't I think of that sooner? I know there's a way to ho throw it horizontally in the original, but I'm using the GameCube controller and I don't know how to do it in this version, so we'll just have to run with it for the time being. Anyway, as I was saying, Kirby has 
a few basic powers. And you can also... And you can use these basic powers and combine them. The result is a variety of combinations of powers. Oh, and these crystal things. They are basically the reason for the game's title. Anyway, Cutter and Spike or Needle will create this power, the Jaws. And here we have our first mini-boss, complete and total pushover. In order to face the final boss, you need to collect all of the crystal shards. I forget how many of them there are, you'll see the information and in some text at the bottom of the screen. So anyway, as I was saying, this is basically going to be, be a one-eyed run into till I have beaten the semi-final boss, I suppose you could call it. Then once I've defeated said boss, I will proceed to pick up any crystal shards that I failed to grab on the first go-around. Well, failed to get or simply forgot about, for example. My distinct memory is that you need a bomb power to, to grab one. One crystal shard right down there. One of my favorite powers, fireworks. You can press B three times with this one. Increasingly powerful with each blast. Yep, I was right. It's kind of a convenient power. Kirby only has six HP in this game. All attacks take away only one HP. And the main enemy in this game is Dark Matter, which first appeared in Kirby's Dream Land 3, which I have never played. It possesses people, basically. For example, it turns Waddle Dee into... Waddle Doo! This is the only Waddle Doo in the entire game. Very easy, boss. Ow. He says after her getting hurt by said very easy boss. Anyway, defeat Waddle Dee, you've completed the first stage. Grab the crystal and move on. At the end of each... Oh, hang on. Cutscene time. That's also the only Waddle Dee in the game. Anyway, in this goal game, you basically first choose a direction for Kirby to jump. You can grab any of those items, so uh, let's choose the card. And now you have to time it with the swinging of his arms to pick up an item. I was hoping to grab the card. Well, it's been a while, what can I say? Yep, hang on, belt's coming. Excuse me! Let's see. Oh, we've already completed that stage. That's nice. Won't have to go back there, then. So this is basically a really cutesy game. But it's still one of my favorites, to be perfectly honest. It was the first Kirby game I was ever exposed to. Furthermore... Or because of it... I originally thought that in every Kirby game, there was a limit to just how much Kirby could float. In this game, he'll eventually run out of breath and have to, to exhale. Swallow two enemies at once, you get to use both of their powers. Stone Kirby. One of the more basic powers. Usually, if you grab two pa powers of the same 
type, the combo power will pretty much just be a stronger version of the old one. This is another fun power. Dynamite. You have to wear the hard hat by ducking, however. Because once that goes off, it'll damage anything nearby. Including you, if you're not wearing the hard hat. Whoa! <laughs> I'm really out of practice, as you can plainly see. Well, I already decided this would be a one-eyed run, so... That's what it's gonna be. One other downside to Dynamite is that it takes a while to go off. And that was a Gordo. They're invincible. Real pain in the neck. I'm gonna toss this power after this block is blown up. It's a nice pow- it's a fun power to use, but... Kind of limited right now. What do I mean, right now? I forget. Rock and electricity, what does that do? Okay, uh... Rock w with an electric... Hick rope tied to it, basically. Eh... Don't entirely care for this power. So I'll admit, this will kind of just be me messing around for a while. I do have an immediate goal of... <laughs> now I'm itchy. <sighs> well, this Let's Play is off to a nice start, wouldn't you say? Uh, okay, good. The electric guy's back. Another fun power. Refrigerator. Whoa! Um. Press B to toss out up to three pieces of food, which you can then use to heal yourself. So, really convenient power. Okay, so yes, Kirby does have to exhale eventually if he spends too much time. I'm floating. And unless the, this is done in a, another Kirby game that I simply haven't played, I think this is just the only Kirby game in which that is the case. In every other Kirby game that I've played, he can float for as long as he likes and will never have to exhale. Uh, I might have just killed myself. Okay. And I passed up an opportunity for a one-up. Oh, I am such an idiot. Just skipped a crystal shard. Oh, well. This is another of Kirby's friends, Adeline. It's never specified if she's the same as a character named Otto from a, another Kirby game that I have never played. Surprise, surprise, she gets possessed too. So now we have to fight her. Basically, anything she paints becomes real. In a sense. So she'll just spawn some enemies. Really not that hard of a fight. Just now I've said that, and since I'm so out of practice... Up! Ah, <laughs> walked right into the food and died. Forget death water, this is death food. Alright. Adeline gets frustrated. Oh, right. Summons that, that guy first. Alright. Now I think she gets. Nope. Still not done. Nice. 
Kirby is also invulnerable to most attacks when he's a refrigerator. Of course, since I just changed back right when he did that. Okay. And she goes down in one hit. Let's actually remember to grab the crystal shard this time. Alright. And if you miss, you get nothing. Okay, so anyway. I will see you next time.